Thank you. For Ethan Durrell, we're from Waco, Texas. We love you. Good night. If one guy quits, I don't really feel like going on. I felt relief, so I knew it was right. Honestly, surprised me. It lasted as long as it did, just because people's natural life progressions, you know, can be very dynamic and very diverse. We just kind of ran out of juice. It had been seven years, and we had many interests. All of us have always had many interests. It wasn't possible to continue giving the amount of energy to Ethan Durrell that we were, and to stay sane. Quiet. God. Uh, all right, so this is a song that starts like this. Just before the band split, we had basically demoed, I want to say, we demoed five songs and they just kind of sat in people's CD players and computers and the songs just didn't go anywhere. It was always in the back of my mind that we might get back together and record these songs because it was something that we all wanted to do. They were sitting there, we had spent maybe 20, 25 hours per song writing and just burning our brains out on these songs. I think everybody was excited and gung-ho enough that we all, you know, saddled up real quick. We we got demos off to each other of like previously recorded versions of all those songs and um, mobilized really quickly. I remember countless discussions, arguments, little mini battles um, to create these songs that we thought were the greatest songs that we ever made, and we worked so hard on them we, we couldn't we couldn't justify just leaving them there. So, oh, well, we're not a band anymore; they don't exist anymore. They were they were just too good to just leave there. Maybe talks to the dark. There was some there was some um, some sparring for sure, and I think I think that that is is uh, the tension is evident in the music. I would describe the new songs not necessarily any different. I would say that it's still four individuals with extremely different musical perspectives. Maybe not going at war, but, but maybe just having a conversation. Yeah.